Hey guys, I'm working on a MP3 player with this little module right here. Um, it's got an MP3 encoder on it. Uh, this is your pause and play, uh, next track, fast forward, previous track rewind uh, volume up volume down and that is a sleep button and that button is used to you can copy uh, music onto this uh, this chip does have 8 megabyte of flash but you can't do a lot with that it's got a 3 watt amplifier um, so to be honest, uh, this sounds every bit as good as my iPod, uh, right out of the headphone jack. And if you need it, probably can't see it, but this breaks out to these uh, audio left and right, these four pins here. Uh, I'll be using those to as an extension of this headphone jack. You'll see why in a minute and it accepts um, SD card up to 8 meg or a flash drive up to 8 meg and uh, it only uses four pins ground and power which it gets off the uh, it's made to make directly to a UNO so Here's a Nuno. I got some stuff hooked up to it, but you would just orient it this way and plug it directly into the headers. Um, but as I was saying, the other pins are just to give it something to uh, support it. Um, you really don't even need these headers on top. I may take these off. That way the buttons are flush with the uh, enclosure and just put some mail headers on the bottom I don't need these if you were going to stack other modules that's what this is for um, but instead of instead of wasting a uh, Arduino Uno or a Mega or something like that as I was saying it only uses four pins um, you set this up with serial commands and that can be hardware serial using uh, these first two pins right here would be your RX and TX hardware that match up with the uh, hardware serial on the board <clears throat> or there's a little jumper uh, let's see this jumper right here right above my thumb now you can move that jumper so that it uses software serial so what I've done is I picked up some AT tiny 85's it's an Arduino in a DIP8 package it gives you uh, you have power ground it does not have hardware serial but you can emulate software serial and it gives you three pins that could be used for PWN digital IO or A to D uh, pin one is reset uh, pin four is ground uh, the two in the middle are multi-purpose IO uh, pin 8 is VCC and the rest or general IO so I need this to basically operate two LEDs and communicate over software serial so it's got everything that I needed to do 
It's got an internal clock of 8 megahertz. So I can flash this with the UNO as a programmer. I'll load uh, Arduino ISP onto the UNO and use that as a programmer to get my MP3 control sketch onto uh, 8-pin AT Tiny and I'm making that board here right now. I've already got my headers and uh, working on the power supply and getting the right lines hooked up. But in that IC socket, that's where I'll put my AT Tiny and uh, I'll drill some holes for a uh, headphone jack and a on off switch and a NADC power jack. I salvaged this uh, 2.5 millimeter um, power jack. So I'll put this in here somewhere. And with two diodes, I can let it run off of either wall power via the jack or uh, a 9 volt internal with uh, this 9 volt case right there and there would only be four screws to get into it and I'm leaving this space open so I've cut out around the notches so this can actually push all the way down to the bottom fits very nice and tight tiny bit of hot melt would uh, keep everything in place and uh, cut a hole in the side to fit a USB stick. The SD card can stay inside without, it doesn't need access, user access. So basically, I'm going to get this done and programmed. I will just uh, mate that up right there. Extend my headphone jack with those four pins there. And Take a headphone jack out to the side and mount it, drill a hole for it, and also salvage this power on off switch. So I'll have that power the uh, entire thing. So it's just one example of how you can use one of these little AT Tiny that uh, has the same command set. as the uh, other Arduino chips. So uh, hopefully next time you see this it'll be closed up. This will be programmed. I may do another video once I got this little AT tiny uh, board complete. And uh, you can get these modules off SparkFun or um, or eBay. I think I paid fifteen dollars for this one, and I paid a dollar thirty-seven for the AT Tiny, and the rest is parts I have laying around. So for under thirty dollars, you can make a high-quality MP3 player, and you can shrink it down using these AT Tiny chips. So instead of using, instead of wasting a good development board. We're going to put it on uh, AT Tony.